Good morning everyone, welcome back to another week in the life of a med student on placement. It has been a little while since I've picked up a camera, I had about a month off just because I was very burnt out with editing videos and I was really not enjoying editing and normally I do so I thought the best thing to do is just have a break but I'm back and it is our first week back on placement after our Easter break we only got a week off this year which having done seven years at uni where I normally get a month off for Easter I can't lie it hurt a little bit but I did make the most of it I enjoyed my time off but now it's Monday morning and it is time to go back to placement I am on week number four Five? No, I'm on week number six of surgery. It's seven weeks total, so this is the penultimate week of surgery, which I'm really sad about because I am enjoying this placement a lot and I didn't think I was going to, but I really like this placement. Also worth mentioning, I guess, that today is my birthday. I am 26 today. Anyway, I'm gonna finish eating this before it goes cold and then we're gonna go to the hospital and meet Maddie and Rachel and head on to the wards. So after giving ourselves a pep talk in the common room, we headed on to the wards to be the annoying medical students that we are. I've become quite immune to the feeling of being embarrassed and I try to remind myself, I pay a lot of money to be on placement and I'm allowed to be there to learn. Happy to be here. No. Does anyone want to be in the vlog? Yeah? yeah. Right, we're all going to go around and say our favourite thing about being on placement. The food? <laughs> Drinking coffee. Freaking <laughs> coffee. Done. Um, Ricky. <laughs> um, the never ending ward rounds. You like those? No. Right, I'm home from placement. It is 1pm. It was a little bit unsuccessful because I'm with the colorectal team. They were waiting for the weekend handover, so they didn't really have any patients for us to go and chat to. We ended up wandering to the surgical day unit and chatting to patients who were coming in today for like elective surgery. So really we were just like taking histories, asking them why they were coming in, what their operation was for, and then we asked them about their past medical history, we asked them about what drugs they take, their social history, all that stuff. And then we go and present the patient to the doctor, whoever's about, that will let us listen. A lot of the time they're very busy. Then I actually went to see my consultant. My consultant is lovely, but he definitely made it clear that he wanted me to see him a lot throughout the seven weeks. So I've tried to make sure I just touch base with him. Like, even if I'm just saying hello when he's in his office. I went to find him. Luckily I could find him because sometimes they're really hard to pin down. And I just said like, how are you? Did you have a good Easter? I did tell him it was my birthday. And then he was basically like, you should go home. So that's what I've done. I think I'm gonna go watch him in theater later this week because I have been to his theatre before and scrubbed in with him and it is a really terrifying experience because he always grills me and asks me so many questions like for example I went and watched him operate on a patient with Crohn's who was getting their large intestine removed and he quizzed me for at least two hours non-stop he wanted to know everything I knew about Crohn's or didn't know and then he quizzed me on the anatomy, he had me like putting my hand inside the patient's abdomen and like feeling around and like telling him what different things were, which was an amazing experience, a really good learning opportunity, but terrifying and really draining because like it's just tiring, isn't it? Enough rambling from me. I'm a bit confused because Jack and Luke are meant to be working from home and they are nowhere to be seen. So hopefully they'll be back soon. I don't know, maybe I should do some past med or maybe I should just uh, get into bed and watch. Love is blind. Fair enough. Where's Jack? He's off completing a special mission. What special mission is this? Luca, don't you worry, son, okay? I don't like it. So an attempt was made at some past med before Jack showed up from his top secret mission and he He's took me to this. Winchester for a pastry and a walk. Go outside, take a little ride if you want to. And by the time we got back, it was actually time for me to get ready for my birthday celebrations. We kicked off the evening with a game of Monopoly Deal, which our flat 
are basically addicted to at the moment. How do you know I've got one? Because the way you just yeah. replied to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, have no, you won't. eight pounds. No, you won't. Whoa. No, you just won't. You just won't. Like I just will. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Did you do that? You do that, my friend. I'll go. Once I'd beaten everyone, we headed to Ocean Village, which is the nicer part of Southampton, for a pre-dinner drink. <laughs> Sorry, one second. Wait, where am I Me. Ja. Ja, you weren't looking. Wind it on. Look at ja. Wind it on. Obviously, had to do a mini photo shoot. Hey, say hello to the vlog. Hi. And then we headed to dinner at an Italian called Figurati. I had arancini to start and then prawn pasta for main. Oh my god, the food was like 10 out of 10 unreal. It was actually such a lovely evening and everyone brought the energy, even though it was like a Monday night, uh, which I really appreciated. And yeah, it was a lovely meal with my nearest and dearest and I felt very blessed. Maybe we can talk until we figure out a topic. Been so long in also, turns out Jack's top secret mission was getting the cake to the restaurant without me knowing, which I can confirm turned out to be mission success. So every Tuesday we have a lecture on a different surgery related topic, usually run by one of the consultants. This week we had a session on just multiple choice question practice in preparation for exam. Then we went to the wards and I had some bedside teaching and that didn't finish till four. Buongiorno, mi chiamo Lydia, sono inglese di Pool, vivo a Southampton, studio Medicina. You might be very confused, why am I speaking Italian? So in third year we have to do two student selected units and these are 10 week modules. I just finished my first 10 week block in widening participation and last week I started my second block which is in basic Italian. So later this week I have my second Italian lesson, it's beginners Italian, there's 15 of us in the class, we're all medics. We do the sessions on Friday afternoons after placement and it's such a nice change because it just gets a bit samey being on placement every day. So it's really nice to do something different and learn a new skill. So the reason I actually picked Italian was because I did French in school and I really enjoyed it, but I wanted to try something different and start from scratch with a completely new language. I also love Italy and might have a holiday book there in the summer with Jack after exams. So I thought what better excuse than to do beginners Italian. Luckily the module I'm doing is aimed at complete beginners but I did want to get some more practice in, which is why I am so excited to introduce today's video partners, Rosetta Stone. Now, you probably have heard of Rosetta Stone, but if you haven't, they are a language learning resource, they have an application, they have a website, and today I just wanted to tell you a little bit about how I've been using it and what my favourite features are. So for me, I've just been using it to get introduced to the language, get a bit more confident with it, especially my pronunciation, because that is something I'm a bit scared about. So when you first download the app, you can put in how advanced you are in the language, what you're hoping to achieve. So I'm doing the travel course at the moment just to get to grips with some of the language I might need when I go on holiday there. Now you can do loads of different things on the app. It gives you a range of activities and you can kind of dip in and out of the courses. So you can just do a little bit when you have some free time, which I quite like because obviously I don't have a lot of spare time. My favorite feature is probably the voice recognition because that's helping me with my pronunciation. La bambina beve. La bambina beve. Il bambino beve. So if you are interested in learning a language from scratch or you already have got to grips with the basic of a language and you want to improve, then I would definitely recommend Rosetta Stone as a amazing resource for learning a language. I will leave a link below where you can get 50% off your subscription. 
If you decide to go with the lifetime membership, you'll get a discount from £349 down to £174.50. And once you've done that, you've got the app for life. You don't have to pay for it ever again. Go and check that out. Don't forget to use my discount code. I will leave that in the description for you. Thank you so much to Rosetta Stone for partnering with me on this video. I am very excited for my Italian lesson later this week. I look slightly disheveled. I may have had an afternoon nap once I got back from placement, but I did have actually a really good day today. I went to the Intestinal Failure Ward and clocked two patients there, bumped into my consultant, uh, who I didn't know I was going to see, but I saw him doing his ward round. Always good to be seen because then he knows I'm actually showing up to placement. We had a lecture on multiple choice questions, then had a slightly longer than planned lunch because I was just catching up with a few people. And in the afternoon, we had some bedside teaching. We went to see a patient on the ASU, so the acute surgical unit. We took her history, did an examination of her, and then had some feedback, spoke about it. And then we actually just had like quite a nice chat about placement and what it's been like and she gave us some advice and I just asked her mainly for advice on how to balance revising for exams and placement and going into placement starting a completely new placement in a week and a half so it's gonna be hard I think because I want to make a good impression but I also want to revise for my exams now I'm gonna spend the evening revising I I'm going to change it up today and not do past med. I'm going to do some zero to finals revision instead. I have the textbook because I like textbooks. I like to have something solid in front of me. And what I basically do is I just use Notion to make notes. Um, and I'm just working through different topics. So I think I'm going to do some endocrinology today. forgot to mention I don't just make notes like I don't just write from the book and type it up onto notion I actually make flashcards using the toggle feature to turn the notes from the book into questions and then put them into Anki so that when I'm revising I can like use this to help me revise <laughs> After my revision session, I made fajitas for dinner, uh, watched some Grey's Anatomy with Jack. We are obsessed with Grey's at the moment. We are going into season 11 now, and I've heard rumours that this is when it starts to go downhill, but so far we're still hooked. Wednesdays are normally half days, so we go in in the morning and we have Wednesday afternoon off in third year. We've been contacted by an F1, me and another med student, and he's asked to do some bedside teaching with us at 4pm. So I'm going to go in for the afternoon rather than the morning because then I still do the same amount of hours. So this morning I actually did some revision, I did some pass med, and then I was watching some zero to finals videos as well. So I've just used my morning to do that. And I had a driving lesson that I've just got back from, so I'm a little bit sweaty because driving makes me nervous. I don't think I hate driving, I just don't know if I love it. My goal is still to pass my test by the end of this year. Now I'm going to have some lunch because I need to eat something before I go to the hospital. Go into the hospital and then this evening I have to go to work at the park. Um, right, let's make some soup. So I went back to the wards for my bedside teaching session with a really nice F1. We talked through examination of the abdomen and then we found a patient who was happy for us to practice on them. The patient we saw had acute pancreatitis so I had to be quite careful when I was examining them because they had quite a lot of upper abdominal pain uh, but they were really nice about it and a lot of patients are happy for med students to learn. After the bedside teaching finished I actually had to rush off to get to the pub in time for a shift. I didn't finish work till midnight so this 6.20 a.m start was hard but I promised myself I'd go to theatre at least once this week and we have to get to theatres by 8am so we can join in the team brief for the day. Getting in early is a lot easier actually when the sun is shining like this. I got to the hospital just before 8, I went to the theatre reception to look at what surgeries are on 
and I decided to go and watch a Whipple's procedure. There was actually two other med students there, Hannah and Charlie. When you're not scrubbed in, you can still get pretty close to the patient. You just can't touch them or get in the surgical field. After about four or five hours, I decided to leave, mainly because it was quite hard to see what was going on and I didn't feel like I was learning much at that point. Overall, it was a really interesting morning and I find the days that I go into theatre on this placement are the days where I feel like I learn the most. I decided it was finally time to start getting my body moving so I went for an afternoon gym class in town before popping home to shower and then forcing myself to go to the library. Exams are still 10 weeks away, but I'll be on placement until two weeks before. So I'm really trying to get into a revision routine now, as I think the time is honestly, I think it's gonna fly by. Um, I'm using Forest to keep me off my phone and also just keep track of how many hours focus I'm doing each day. I'm aiming for two to three hours in April and then I'll up the ante a bit in May. This morning I was had I was had. I had a lecture on palliative care. I have decided I'm gonna watch the recording of that another time because I wanna go to the library this morning and do some revision. Maybe that's the wrong thing to do, but to be honest, I had such a long day yesterday. I think I was awake from like six till midnight. I'm feeling a little bit burnt out this morning, so I'd rather just work at my own pace in the library. And can I just say, guys, I don't know if I've ever said this on camera, but I hate lectures. I really do hate lectures and I have not enjoyed learning in a lecture setting ever. Like I really miss being in school and being in a classroom with like 25, 30 students and just having the teacher at the front who knows who you are, they know your name, they know your needs and they can like ask you direct questions at you. In a lecture theatre that just doesn't happen, you're an invisible number and you know, I'm just also not the kind of person that would call out an answer in a lecture theatre. That's never been me and that never will be me. So, in conclusion, I don't like lectures and I will go to them, but overall I just... Does anyone feel the same? Am I... am I just... Is this a controversial take? I... yeah. This afternoon I've got my basic Italian lesson, which is a small group session, so I'm actually really excited for that one. That kind of thing does need to be in person when you're like learning a language, I think you need to be talking to other people and practicing, so I've got my basic Italian later. So I managed a few hours of zero to finals revision and some past med in the library. Before heading to my beginners Italian lesson. I actually really like the fact that we get to do something a bit different on a Friday afternoon and I get to use a different part of my brain. It's also quite fun just like being in the classroom again with other med students and we can just practice our Italian speaking and have a bit of fun on a Friday. After we'd learn about informal and formal Italian greetings, I went back to the library for a bit more revision before heading home for a chilled out Friday night in. I actually forgot to end the vlog here, but here's my flat waving goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.